Hey guys, welcome back to Chan Man's videos. I thought I'd just make a short video, talk about some of my, I wouldn't say vintage, but older gear. This is about 12 years old. Uh, today is the 26th of July, and I played a, a game last night where I felt like, you know what, let's take out some of the old gear, use it uh, once or twice a year, and see how it feels. Um, and again, I bought these pads, this whole set, 12 years ago. And so the technology is quite different. Starting off with the catcher glove. Uh, it's well broken in, although it looks very clean. Uh, I have used it for several seasons. And it is, it's like butter. It just closes really fast. Um, some puck marks I couldn't clean off. I do like to wipe my gear down after every game with uh, the magic eraser. So it keeps it uh, as white as possible. And of course, you know... Um, if I ever do want to sell my gear, which I do from time to time, it does help uh, with the sale price because it looks really good condition. It is in good condition, but just looks better. Old gear from 11 years ago, very, very basic. Um, you just have the one strap here to open. You have one strap here to open. This is a 590 angle. And then you have your two, three adjustable straps here. That's it. Uh, if you watched my other videos, my hockey equipment videos, I've mentioned I do like my glove loose. Um, and that just gives me better wrist mobility. Mm. But yeah, uh, it doesn't feel too different actually from uh, current uh, CCM gloves. Well, compared to the Axis, but uh, the, C the other CCM uh, Premier lines that I've owned they pretty much feel and look the same with this weird curve that they have uh, great catch glove took a couple of slap shots made some great glove saves last night uh, still a solid and safe glove not uh, as heavy as you would expect for a 12 year old glove but still um, still pretty solid I always say blockers are just blockers um, this actually has a white trim I just put black tape around it I thought it looks better with the black tape uh, oh, sorry, that's a, a Reebok 18K glove, 18K blocker. Um, I actually think a 14K blocker would have sufficed, but didn't want to risk it at the time, so I bought an 18K. There, oh, sorry. Nice soft pad there. The palm has stood up very well over all these years. Uh, it's just the one, the adjustable strap there. Um... Nothing special, it's just a blocker. This cuff doesn't get in the way, so it's a nice big cuff. Uh, good wrist mobility for me. Floating, I guess kind of like a floating club, uh, cuff. Basic blocker, that's about it. All right, let's get to the pad. The pad itself, this is the 14K pad. I didn't get the 18K pad because um, with most leg pads, the, the padding is so thick and, and strong, you never actually get hurt from shots, uh, no matter how hard the shot is. So I decided not to get the 18K pad, but the 14K pad, saved a couple hundred bucks 12 years ago, uh, 32 plus one. It's got the flex core, pretty standard. It's heavier than most current pads now. Um, the evolution of foam and padding and technology has allowed lighter materials, thinner profiles, um, but considering that this is a 12 year old pad, uh, wearing it and playing it last night, I did not feel like they were heavy at all. Um, not noticeably as light, but not heavy. Uh, okay. So this pad has, a, has some customizations. I took off the, uh, the knee strap here. Uh, there is a strap that comes through, you know, just your standard leather strap that comes through here on the knee. I took it off. There are three placements that you can adjust it, but I don't use it at all, so I just took it off to remove the extra weight. This cushion here is, look at this, look how soft this. You can like, you can see me squish that in. Super comfortable last night, butterflying and slamming my knees down on here. Very nice and soft, I really appreciated that. Uh, I took this strap off. Again, just um, because I don't need it. I have this knee strap, which comes down diagonally. There is one, one strap in here, and that's it. So this is how it's stuck to my leg, right? This is what I'm keeping it to my leg. Um, 
most current pads now is just the one Velcro. So uh, I just kept this because there's nothing holding these outside pads together. So you have to keep the one strap for sure. So I took one, two, and then I took the third strap at the bottom off because I don't need anything um, sticking to my skates other than the toe tie. Uh, so with that, I just put a zap strap through here to keep this flap from moving around. And then because I took the knee strap off, I put a zap strap for a shoulder carrying strap just hook on and I can carry both pads over my shoulders. That is it. Reebok 14K Premier Series pad, 12 years old, uh, used in 2023, was solid, um, won the game, let in three goals all night on probably but third over 30 shots. So uh, yeah. Great feeling gear, looks great. Um, 12 years old, tried to sell it. People weren't interested in paying uh, 300 bucks for it, so I've just kept it ever since. And I'll probably use them uh, another two more times in the summer before my hockey season starts, maybe the first game of the year, and then put them away. It's a good uh, practice warm-up pad. Uh, again, that extra weight at the beginning of the season helps and then once I get deeper in the season I'll use the lighter pads. One thing though before I do go you see here in the background all three pads are 32 plus one. Now although the camera angle is still off it's slightly off to the side I want to show you you can see that although it's a 32 plus one I think because of the softer boot this is sits lower versus to the Bauer or even the Warrior. Um, so although all three are 32 plus ones, or is it one and a half? Let me it. 32 plus one versus 32 plus one and a half, I think. Um, you see that uh, that height difference there. I mean, it, that's more than half an inch of a height difference. Though. So uh, something I wanted to point out. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about some old gear and uh, that you like the way it looks. See you in the next video. Bye.